Andrew Vesey came to Australia from America just over three years ago to take up the role of Managing Director and CEO of AGL Energy, Australia's second oldest company. Would you please give Andy Vesey a warm welcome? No matter what business you're in, you're all about making decisions all the time. And the issue in competition is that you win if you make better decisions than your competitors. And then I started thinking about, well, what does that mean? What's the metrics of quality around a decision? And in my view, it was that if you can access more relevant information than your competitors and process it more quickly, i.e. make a decision on it more quickly, you win. And what's that information? Well, it's task information. It's uh, process information, it's enterprise innovation, it's worldview, but it's all about getting information. And the question is, if we know we're a decision factory and the, it's all about information, how do I get my people to make decisions in real time without me looking over their shoulders? And that's all about values, right? That's why values and culture are so important in organizations today. It's because we have to give the guidance, we have to provide the moral compass to our people so we don't have to manage and supervise what they do. So when we hire people, we generally hire them within a range of uh, values that we have in society. And there's not a lot of broad distribution in that. But every firm needs to then add to that those things which represent what it thinks is important. So for us, we start with safety and beyond. So it's not just physical safety because we operate power plants but it's also psychological safety. To have people being safe because we want to hear their voices, because we want them to collaborate, right? Two people communicating clearly with each other is always going to get a better solution than one person. And the next value adds to that. It's called inclusive of all. It's more than just diversity. It's inclusion. It's being part of, it's being asked your opinion, it's being invited to the table. That's what I say, it's the difference between being invited to a party and being asked to dance. Well, we want everybody dancing. Now, even if all of you are exactly the same, mirror images of each other, from the time you were born to now, you've had different experiences. You're going to see the world differently. So we want to really be able to get the richness of that conversation, those different views, the different lenses. So inclusive of all, that's one of our key values. The next is sustainable thinking. Now, that doesn't just mean environmental issues. It means this, and this is the way we define it to our people. Make decisions today if you have a bone deep confidence you will be living in that tomorrow. And that you have to deal with the consequences of the decisions you made today. That's how we define sustainability. And the last, focus on what matters. In a world where we're flooded with information from all kinds of sources, focus on those things that matter. That's the value system, that's in the decision. But I thought we needed guide rails, right? And so when I started out in business, I said, there should only be two rules. And my two rules in my industry was, do not create an unsafe working condition and do not break the law. And I figured, if I tell people those two things, I can relax because they'll do the right stuff, especially if they have the right values. But not shortly after that, I figured in my career that I had to add one more. And that one more was play nice. You gotta get along with other people because there are other people around you, so you just can't do those, that narrow view. So with those rules, don't create an unsafe work condition. Don't violate the law. Play well with others. And don't be a victim. Don't be a perpetrator. And never be a bystander. To let people make decisions in real time and understand that the role of leadership as we move to the digital age is that not about control anymore. It's about empowering your people every day to make the right decisions to move you forward. So, if you think about all the things I just said, you have a view of how I act. And the way I think of the world and the decisions that I make and that AGL makes as well. As well. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to let the Q&A start and so tease out some more from that. But I thank you for your attention and it was a pleasure to address you right now. Thank you. So where did those values come from for you? And, and where did the confidence come from? You know, my mother was a clerical worker, high school education, uh, shop steward for clerical unions. I used to paint uh, picket signs, I remember that. But always with a group of people. Is that on your CV? No. Um, <laughs> but always with a group of people who saw the right thing to do and, you know, to do it. And it wasn't a question about, you know, should you hide or should you step down? It's if you really believe in something. Quite honestly, not everything you believe in is right, but as long as you have confidence in it, 
then you have a duty to stand and, 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 and you know, stand up for what you believe. And recognizing that there are others who might have the same beliefs that don't have that same level of courage to do it. And so somebody has to do it. You know, I, I also have a great uh, passion for uh, you know, folk songs and folk singers from the 60s. And Phil Oakes used to have a song. He, and it was, you know, uh, you know, basically I think the title was I might as well do it while I'm here because when you're dead, it's too late to do the right thing. So you got to do the right thing now. Andy Vosey, thank you very, very much. It's been a great conversation. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Very good.